dynamic range is one of the fundamental specifications of a spectrum analyzer and at the same time one of the least understood. Dynamic range is a measure of the ability of an instrument to measure a tiny signal in the presence of a gigantic signal. There are several ways of correctly specifying dynamic range and several incorrect ways that are sometimes called dynamic range. The key concept is that dynamic range refers to the ability to simultaneously measure two signals of widely different power levels. Direct measurement is an excellent way to determine dynamic range. Start by measuring a very small signal by itself. This is easy to do with a marker. Then turn on a large signal and place a delta marker on the large signal. Use the marker table to see both values at once. While observing the measured amplitude of the small signal, change the large signal amplitude until the measured value of the small signal is reduced by 1 dB. The delta marker gives you the dynamic range value. The calculation 2 thirds TOI minus DANL is one way to specify dynamic range. TOI is third order intercept and DANL is displayed average noise level. Some people incorrectly call the display range of a spectrum analyzer the dynamic range. For an instrument with 10 vertical divisions and the ability to set 15 dB per division, the display range is 150 dB. This is not dynamic range. The proper term for this value is display range. There is one company that calls the difference between the displayed average noise level and the damage level, the signal level that will break the instrument, dynamic range. This is not dynamic range either. There really isn't a standard term for this value. Still others call the difference between best possible displayed average noise level and the maximum measurable signal dynamic range Nope, that isn't dynamic range either, since different settings are needed to measure under the two conditions. Here again, there isn't a standard term for this value either. If the instrument can't measure signals at both ends of the so-called dynamic range value simultaneously, it simply isn't dynamic range. A wide dynamic range makes some measurements possible that simply can't be done with lesser instruments. When you are measuring a filter using a tracking generator, dynamic range determines how far down the skirts of a filter you can see. When you are measuring a broadcast signal, dynamic range determines whether you can see if a broadcast station meets the US FCC rules. With Enritsu handheld instruments, MS2721B, MS2723B, MS2724B, MT8222A, MT8221B, and the new E-Series, MS2712E, MS2713E, MT8212E, S362E, and S332E, you get wide dynamic range coupled with many other high performance capabilities.